After two days of music, masqueraders, feathers and fun under the carnival sun, some people ventured to Maracas Bay, saying it was the perfect place for the wind down. And while there was no street party or music trucks blasting Mikhail Teja's DNA or carnival contract by Ian Bungigal and Alvarez, as was familiar on Carnival Monday and Tuesday, some of the people we met were happy that they had a day to relax and reflect. My name is Ashley, I'm from Florida. Um, we're spending our day resting today because yesterday was Carnival and then we played in the band with Yuma and we, we also did Carnival Monday, so we're just chilling now, we're just resting. We had to come to the beach today because we heard it's traditional and we wanted to take part in it. Um, my friend, he, he said it's a uh, really good space to come to after Carnival. Uh, we're coming from the States. Shout out to the whole Brooklyn. Come to wash off my sins after Carnival. And while Ash Wednesday had the full spectacle of police officers and lifeguards at Maracas Bay to ensure the safety of those who wanted the sun, sea, and sand, many people we spoke to gave kudos to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service for their performance during the two festival days. Um, shout out to the Trinidad and Tobago Protective Service because they did a fantastic job in Tunapuna. I don't know about anywhere else, but, you know, they keep it on the comms in Tunapuna. You know, we're having it hard in Tunapuna right now. I was a bit worried, but... I feel very safe with them around and all that. They did a really, really, really good job. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thumbs up. Oh, wow. I must comment on how many police officers were on the street this year. Um, I completely felt safe. There was not a street or a turn I made, and I did not see the presence of the officers, um, including Juve as well. So definitely, I felt really safe this carnival. However, the day was not void of those who had some constructive criticism. Marketing can be improved. Um, it's, too, it's too expensive. The carnival has been priced out. And where we are going in Toronto and Tobago, I would say next five years, the small man can't bring a band. Uh, the big bands have too much of privilege. They abuse the privilege they have. And this is my point of view. And they are outpricing Toronto and Tobago carnival because there's other carnivals in the world you can go to. And while at noon, the anticipated crowds had not yet gathered, one lifeguard on location pointed out that the Ash Wednesday crowds have dwindled over the past few years. 